vào đây này Back to working on the bearings. The reason why we are back to working on the bearings is, to our credit, me and PAs, this was the very first bearing that we fixed on that case high speed disc. And we took it apart and it did not have this piece. There's air. So it did not have this little spacer. And we put it all together anyway when we worked on the second one we took it apart and we found this little thing so the other two we put the spacer in that one we did not because we had already done it well long story short take it down there put it on and it wasn't doing right so what we're going to do is we're going to take it back apart and this is off one of the old ones anyway we're going to put this spacer back in there that way it can go back on and hopefully it'll solve the problem. The other two that we worked on are working perfect. But that one did not have this. I don't know why from the factory or maybe it was repaired, you know, before we bought it. But this was not in there. I promise you, we looked and looked and looked. So we're going to throw this thing in there. We got to go to the press, press it out. Anyway, same thing we did a couple of videos ago. Got to get this baby in there. You know, yeah. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the channel. Uh, it is September the 14th, and we got a bunch of rain. Uh, the last video we put out, we had to stop corn harvest. The rain just started setting in. And unfortunately, um, doesn't look good today. Cloudy, overcast, and apparently there's like a chance of rain 60% every day this week i think it's from that hurricane that's kind of hitting texas and it's going to slide down louisiana and mississippi and um the gulf coast basically so i think that's what all this tropical type weather is going to be from does not look good for corn harvest but we're going to work on some things around here and uh if sun pops out and the corn gets dry we're gonna get back in the field but uh right now we're gonna get some stuff done around here so y'all come along hope you enjoy the video and uh let's go help pa
We need an O-ring, I know where to come look. In PA's truck. Okay, well here it is. It is put together. And PA is gonna go down there and put it back on. And I think he can run down there, can't he? I think it only rained one tenth that Black was being, so that's where the disc is. So he's gonna put it on. If he can run, he's gonna run. Cause we are not combining so far. Let me get my iPad out and I'll show y'all uh, why we're in this rainy weather period. It's from that hurricane. Anyway, I'll show you on the radar and show you what we're gonna be dealing with in the next couple of days. Not good for cotton, not good for corn, not good for beans right now, so. We don't need any rain from here on out. We just need some good dry weather, but there's nothing we can do about that. So let's take a look at it. Okay, here it is. This is Nicholas. I don't know if it was a hurricane, but anyway, it's a tropical storm now, and you see which way it's going. That's us right there in the dot center of Alabama. This is over in Texas, uh, right, on, right at Houston. And you see the path, it's just gonna come right down the Gulf Coast. And it's just gonna stir up rain the whole time. I don't know how much rain we're expected to get, but I know there's a chance of rain every day this week, like I told y'all. But we'll just uh, see what happens. And uh, we'll get back to cutting corn as soon as we possibly can. So we'll keep knocking out stuff around here and uh, keep moving on. You see Wayne, he loads it with the Komatsu loader. So as we're cutting in the field, anyway, we're drying it and it's dropping from the ceiling up there. Filling this shed up. Shed stays about this full at all times. We constantly have trucks hauling out all day just as fast as we're putting it in the sheds. So they're gonna catch us now. They're gonna get a lot of this haul because uh, we're not cutting. So they'll load this out pretty quick. How many of y'all loaded? I think it'll be seven here. Already? Yeah. Already loaded seven trucks. It's 745. Getting after it. So this is kind of where we uh, weigh them. So they'll weigh in, get a weight, and then of course we'll fill them up. Wayne knows about how much they need to hold. And then we got scales right there that he's gonna pull over. See those four barrels? We'll weigh the front of the truck, and then we'll weigh the back of the truck, and we'll get a weight. And we'll have a ticket for him. Weight on the front. Yeah, it's a split weight, what you call it. And that's a 400. You don't use your calculator? Sometimes. <laughs> With the people looking at me. Got a calculator right here. So he's got 62,000 pounds of corn on there. So now he's gonna go get unloaded 
and come right back. How long a trip is here? Probably two and a half miles. There and back total? Yeah, it's not that far. Probably a 30 minute drive, but getting unloaded. Going, going to a chicken feed mill. Cooks. All this corn is going to a chicken feed mill, uh, which is about 30 minutes away. But you get unloaded and all. There's a lot of trucks lined up that's coming from us, going straight up there. It's gonna be about a two hour round trip. But they are moving some grain pretty quick. When you dry your own corn, you go through a lot of propane. And uh, he comes out when we're running, he'll be out here every day. Uh, to refill our tank we probably need to get a larger bulk tank uh, so he doesn't have to come out here every day but we just hadn't done that so right now he's coming out every day when we're running hard so it's costing us money on the propane but we've done the figures it's saving us money in the long run Okay, I'm over here in the uh, what we call the old soybean field. I know it just rained. It rained a half inch here. I don't know if you can see it, but down there, there's water in the middles. So the ground, the ground is getting wet, and the stalks, I mean, they're damp. But we have just had no sunshine today. I mean, it was actually, it was actually raining a second ago. Just a light little sprinkle. I just thought I'd come out here and feel it to see how bad the stalks were, to see how much, you know, sunshine we may need, you know, if we may get started today. They're not too terribly wet. If we could just get two hours of sunshine, I mean, I feel like we'll be combined and now. It's going to be muddy, like I said, but we got four wheel drive. We're not worried about that. Uh, we're worried about this corn, what we're worried about. That's a big ear. Get my finger around it. So we're just gonna keep watching the weather and uh, wait on that sunshine. Ah, we need to be running, running, running. We are this close to getting through. And uh, you never know, you could have a bad storm come through here with a lot of wind. And uh, I mean, it could be disaster. It could blow all this corn on the ground. There's just so many things that could go wrong the longer this crop, you know, sits out in the field. You got to get it when you can. All we can do is wait. Hope the good Lord will send us some uh, sunshine today and we can get started. Oh, come on. Don't make me put it in four drive. Does anybody else put it in reverse when you're shifting to full wheel drive to make sure it gets locked in? I do it every time, I don't know why. Maybe it was because the older Chevrolet trucks, you had to do that to make sure they were locked in, but I do it every time. Anybody else do that? It's gonna be muddy if we get started today. Made it back to the shop. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through my chemical. And what that means is all the chemical I've used all year uh, has just been accumulating in the shop. And uh, we try to return it throughout the year, but toward the end of the year, we got a lot of stuff that never got returned. And what I do is uh, figure out what company it came from and uh, Make sure the jugs have not been opened. If they've been opened, you cannot return them. So uh, we'll go through that, separate on which company they came from, make sure they're good, and uh, then we'll try to get them taken back so we can get credit because we're probably not gonna do any more spraying this year. 
it'll be very little whatever I do spray I'll just buy you know when I need it as needed so anyway we'll take all this back get some credit it's a lot of money we just don't like it get sitting in our shop because uh, sometimes it just disappears so I'm gonna get started it's gonna seem like a lot of chaos but trust me I know what I'm doing looks a little better doesn't it I'll spend some more time on it this winter but uh that'll do for now at least we got some room oh the back and forth the back and forth are we gonna try it are we not but let me tell you folks this is the first time all day that it's quit doing this little stupid sprinkle rain and uh the sun is kind of halfway out so I think this, if we're gonna try it, now's the time. This may be our only shot. It may be raining 10 minutes from now, but I'm gonna get everything out of my truck, put it up in the combine and uh, see what happens. What do you think? What's your horse? Uh, 20 to 17. 20 to 17. Okay. That ain't bad. Getting it off the cob. Right here you can see your header loss because this has not gone through the combine, just the header has grabbed the stalk. When you have damp conditions, you get more of that right there which is not bad call them all back <laughs> everybody come back to work we're gonna run just turned everybody off but I think we can get them back guys look at our unexperienced cart driver didn't even have his tarp unrolled I'm ready to dump believe that what is this amateur hour no nah, i'm just joking but he did not have it unrolled and it is dead but we'll give him a pass it's 
first time running it this year. He's us on it. Uh, we're waiting on James and Mark to get here. Probably gonna leave PA down there at Blackwell's Bend and we'll just get by this afternoon with Dad, Mark, and uh, James and hopefully Roy will come drive the other truck. And that's all we'll have today. Well, that didn't go good. He's pretty much stuck right now. I got one shot to get it out. It's not all the way down on the frame. But anyway, if I can get it backed up some and hit it real hard going forward, I can probably come out. But... Oh man, first dump of the day. Goodness, we won't be going back there. Oh, we gotta find some drier part of the field. Got lucky on that one. Just as we get everything full, the rain starts again. I don't think y'all can see it, but it's coming over that hill right there. And it's working its way across the valley. Anyway, we just got everything filled up. Trucks and all the grain carts. Had a problem down there at the dryer. Uh, had a bearing go out on the auger that loads the wet tank. So uh, nothing could get unloaded. But we got everything full. Um, Pretty pleased for a day that I didn't think we were going to get any combining done. I think we got seven truckloads, and now I've got everything slammed full to unload in the morning. So, uh, got some work to do in the morning. Uh, I've got to fix that bearing, which is probably going to be a pretty good job. And uh, then hopefully we'll get everything unloaded. And I don't know about the rain. We'll just see. If we get rained out tomorrow, we get rained out. We got some jobs lined up that we can do. But pretty pleased, the corn still turning out good. Only problem in this field, which I told y'all, is those wet spots. It's a lot of drowned out spots that's gonna bring my average down, but could have been really good if we wouldn't have had those. But we're, we're pleased and uh, glad we could get something done today because most people probably could not cut today. So we were very fortunate to get the loads cut that we did and get that much closer to the finish line so guys i hope you enjoyed the video um if you don't mind give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh guys we'll catch you on the next one see you